Hey, welcome back to the channel. Divine timing, we are rising. I am your messenger, Shira, and I am back with another divinely guided, intuitive, channeled message just for you, collective. So remember to take what resonates and absolutely leave the rest. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? This is going to be a general all signs reading. Um, it's also going to be timeless. Remember that the um, divine feminine can embody the divine masculine energy and vice versa. Okay, so flip it and place it, reverse it and put it where it goes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so without further ado, um, definitely go ahead and advance and give this video a thumbs up, please and thank you. It sends an energetic donation to the channel. I greatly appreciate your support. For those of you who comment um, and like the videos, thank you. Um, continue to comment, continue to like, all right? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to continuously growing with you all um, and bettering, and, well, bettering myself with you all and healing with you all, okay? We're all on this journey together, nonetheless. <clears throat> and there go my right hand itching. My grandma used to tell me either rub your bosom or rub your knee so i'm gonna rub both perhaps that'll heighten the uh the blissing that'll heighten the abundance and add a couple racks to it <laughs> but y'all so this is my second take my phone i i'm telling you um i will be getting a new phone here soon or actually just getting my iphone 12 fixed um because i don't really see a point i mean i don't know i'm, I'm still debating but i don't really see a point at this point to get the iPhone 13, I may as well, I might get like an Android. I'm thinking about getting like the Galaxy S22 for like a second phone. That'll be like my business phone, so to speak. But um, yeah, so like the reading that I just did was really, really good. But unfortunately, once again, it's just issues with my phone. I'm starting to be let, like if I, if I, if I, if I like I know I'm not the smartest, okay? But shit, like, what the fuck is going on with my phone? I would say it's tapped or something. Like, every time I have messages in relation to the twin flames coming into union, whether I'm speaking of it in a different form on my main channel or what have you, the fuck, the shit just does not work. And excuse my cursing, but, like, shit like this pisses me off, you know? And I just have to let it out because I don't like holding energy like that in. But here I am trying to get you guys these messages and there's always blockages, as expected, but it's just frustrating. That's all. But most high willing, we shall pull on similar energies as it pertains to um, the twin flame connection. Okay? I hope that's not too dark, but I know sometimes it's hard to see. All right, so what is on the spiritual roster? Spirit guides, most high, that one wants to come out. Spirit guides, most high creator of all things, ancestors. Overall energies. Any other messages? What is going on between the divine feminine and the divine masculine? Is this connection over for good? Is this connection over for good? Ooh, that's a lot. What is going on with the Divine Feminine this week? What would you like the Divine Feminine to be aware of? All signs. P.S. you guys, I was today years old when I realized that I am a um, Cancer Leo cusp. So I'm a Leo, but my sun sign is a Leo, but like I'm on the cusp of Cancer and Leo. So I was like, that makes a lot of sense because I'm very fiery, but I'm also very emotional. I'm also very, I love what, like, you know, like the same kind of, I guess you could say characteristics as water signs. I too share those characteristics. I don't know why I was just kind of to tell you guys that, but Take it what resonates. All right, so I think we have enough messages. Ooh, we got it. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right. <clears throat> wow. 
So right off the deck, right off the bat, excuse me, we have karmic feminine can't keep her hands to herself. So take it where it resonates, collective, but your person could be dealing with <clears throat> a karmic feminine, perhaps the one he left you for, who can't keep her hands to herself. Okay? She could also be heartless and cold. This could also be your energy, and it can also be your person's energy, collective. So take it where it resonates. feeling like they can't face you now so this person is definitely hung up in their head they feel like with everything that they have going on all of the toxicity they feel like there's no way that they can face you now they feel like you're in this heartless and cold energy perhaps that could be the energy that you all have been like signaling back like you know um what is what do i want to say like you've been I guess you could say sending back, you know, whenever they try to get into your energy, you're just sending them like heartless and cold energy back in response, if that makes sense. <clears throat> they want you to know that you will always be in their heart. This can also be your energy. Okay, you will always be in my heart. Yeah, you're the real deal. They know that you're 100, no matter what. They know that you're the real deal. You're real. You're authentic. You're transparent. And for some reason, I feel like that's something that the karmic cannot be. I feel like the karmic, and I feel like actually your person is actually realizing that the karmic is like a wannabe. The karmic don't know how to be herself. And they're realizing that you are the real deal. You always have been. Okay. All right, so we have three, six, nine. So basically, you um you're you're being led with this card here to create a a three month, a six month, and a nine month short term and mid term and long term goal for the next three, six, and nine months. Okay, just sit yourself down one evening. You know whether you you smoke weed, you drink wine, you drink tea. Whatever it is that relaxes you, no judgment here, but just I ain't, I ain't condoning or, you know, <laughs> I ain't for no narcotics now on this channel. But, um, whatever. Sit yourself down one night, get in a relaxing mood, and actually just write down, you know, some goals. What would you like to complete, execute, and smash in terms of your goals within the next three months okay once you execute those goals smash those goals then move on to your six month goal list okay and so on so you all are being guided to do that i'm actually going to take heed to that myself <clears throat> all right so we have spiritual breakthrough underway so a lot of you could be right in position to receive a spiritual breakthrough this can be in terms and you know this could be in connection to anything as it relates to spirituality a lot of you could be in this starting over energy you're just ready to start over uh, whether that means start over someplace new um, whether that means start over with someone new um, I'm definitely just picking up on this just this new fresh healed high energy high vibrational energy like a lot of you are just very very just ready to to do whatever it takes to reach your wish fulfillment whatever that looks like for you okay <clears throat> so you showed me nothing but love and affection so this is your person's energy here is their thoughts this divine masculine would like you to know you know, you showed them nothing but love and affection. Which is why you will always be in their heart. You know? And that's also adding to the difficulty in them coming in facing you. They feel like it's impossible to face you after everything that they've done to you. Although that the Most High and their spirit guides and ancestors are guiding them to you. All they have to do is come in with some truth some vulnerability, some honesty, 
okay and a bit of self-awareness and emotional and emotional um, maturity as well but it's like at this point due to everything that they're going through they're trapped in this heartless and cold energy they don't want to open up to anyone let alone you with all of this stress that they are dealing with so this is a very just i gotta cleanse like ugh. <clears throat> hold on this is just really toxic I definitely don't advocate for domestic violence. I don't believe in that stuff. I think that's terrible as having gone through it myself. And of course I survived it. You know, I'm still here, you know, to tell my motherfucking story and to be a motherfucking boss and to be healed and to be in my shit, you know. But at the end of the day, d domestic violence is no fucking joke. And I feel like, wow like this is fucking crazy i think spirit removed you for a reason like spirit didn't want you entrapped in any of that like in entangled in that this third party is very uh very toxic but i feel like there's more than one third party that this person is dealing with that is toxic like this so take it where it resonates but I definitely have to clear that because that was just uh... <clears throat> um, you know if you know this is hidden for you you know that this resonates all right if it sounds familiar please go ahead and hit that like button please and thank you I greatly appreciate it in advance all righty but yeah you guys this is this is a lot okay here you are, you know, you're in this energy of starting over. You're drama free. Exactly what I said. You were removed out of this equation for a reason. This person was either guided to walk away from you or you were guided to walk away from this person for a reason. Because of all of this drama that they are dealing with. And there could also be a spiritual breakthrough underway for them. This person can be in a period and in a mode of revelation certain things being revealed to them that is if they are taking heed to the messages that they are receiving okay can't no one force this person to go within and to receive whatever download or whatever their intuition is telling them as it pertains to you divine feminine if this person doesn't have that inner knowledge and inner knowing to do that off the dribble then there's ultimately nothing you can do about it but I do, st I do feel, I was going to say see, yeah, see and feel you all spiritually remaining drama free, you know, standing in your power, going towards your wish fulfillment. This is definite chariot energy I'm picking up on. Okay. So you could be a Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, or Capricorn. And or your person can be. I'm also picking up on Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, and Cancer energy as well. So water, fire, and air. Oh, as well as earth. So all elements. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, there's someone in the uh, org field who is out to get you. But Spirit is saying they have already been blocked <laughs> the thoughts, their plans, their plots, it's all been blocked. So there's nothing that you all have to worry about because you all are protected, divine collective. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, somebody's in this energy where they're like, look, I ain't even gonna hold you. This could be your person's energy. <laughs> I'm definitely channeling a masculine right here. They like, look, I ain't even gonna hold you. Ain't even gonna hold you, you know? Because they know they wrong. They know they wrong. And for some of you, they only want to return because they see you're winning now. Okay? So definitely keep your eyes and ears open for this opportunist. Because that is the energy that I'm picking up on as I pull this card here. Now they want to return that you are drama free now that they realize that you are the real deal and things of that nature now that is for those of you who know that this person is an opportunist you know it's codependent 
you know, things of that nature, a narcissist. Also could be a whole ass nigga. Okay? So take it where it resonates. It could also be a whole ass female. And I hope you guys don't mind me using the N word or cursing period. I forgot to put that disclaimer in, but yeah, I do cuss, okay? <laughs> But anyways, um, all they care about is money. That's it. Yeah. So there's your proof. There's the, the, the fucking proof. They only want to return because you're winning, regardless of what it is that they see you're doing or what it is that they have a hunch that you are doing. Whether you have an online presence, a high following, you can have a high following on like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or any social media site. And they see you're winning now, you're gaining momentum, you're getting a bunch of attention from people from all over the world. And they feel like this is the perfect time for them to come in and try to tear down what you have built. And spirit is like, uh-uh, tis -tis -tis blocked, like blocked, shoe shoe, like shoe peasant. And I don't mean to be like that, but no. Whatever whole ass nigga or female this is, like nah. You're not about to come in on the divine feminine and think you about to come up off her her greatness come up off her glory when you didn't even want to do the work with her <sighs> yeah this is definitely some karmic masculine energy i'm picking up on because ain't no way in hell no divine masculine energy unless he's in his distorted energy <clears throat> is going to simply come in and try to leech and eat off his divine feminine knowing damn well he did nothing to assist with your rising with your grand rising with your great awakening Okay, and ultimately with your success. Yeah, they're staying up late thinking about you. Okay, staying up late thinking about you. All right. <clears throat> yeah, they didn't realize that you were going to be a major success story. Whatever trial or tribulation that you all went through that people looked at and probably used as uh, something to gossip and use this entertainment guess what they didn't realize that your testimony was going to turn into your major success story all right so they're staying up late pondering the life that they could have had with you Mhm. Mm soul healing this is what you and your person is being guided to focus on focus on soul healing cleansing cleansing the energy your person is very promiscuous. Your person, I'm definitely picking up this masculine energy, could also have an STD that they don't want you to know about. That's why they ghosted you. I don't know why that just came out, but I feel like they have an STD and they got it from this karmic energy or one of the karmic energies. They probably haven't even gone to the doctor yet. Um, but they feel in their heart they have something. And... That could also be a problem. So yeah, this person has a lot of healing to do. A lot of healing. Okay? So just take that word resonates. Because again, this person is very loose. They're very... Just... They, they go back and forth out of nymphomaniac moods. Where they become sexually deviant. And that's... That's not okay. All right, so they, they want you to know, I can't call you up, baby. I can't call you up because they're hung up already. They already stuck with this karmic femme who can't keep her hands to herself. This could also be just the fact that they're just, they're feeling cold. They're feeling heartless and cold towards you because that's how they're feeling like you feel towards them. Perhaps you are feeling that way towards them because of everything that they've done. Okay. Yeah. These people are fake smiling, showing their family and friends fake smiles, but deep inside they're they're falling apart. Yeah, but a lot of you was just like, look, I'm going to remove my myself from this equation. If you'd rather be with this karmic who can't keep her hands to herself, who is disrespectful, this and that, whatever, then more power to you. That is what you deserve then. If that is what you accept, that is what you deserve. And you all was like, fuck it. I'm going to start over. I'm going to remain drama free. Okay. And I'm going to focus on soul healing. And that's exactly what you guys did. And now that they see you winning, 
Now all of a sudden they want to return. Now they want to stay up all night trying to figure out a way to come back in. But each plan and plot that they do behind the scenes energetically and spiritually is being blocked. Your spirit guides, ancestors, and angels, and the Most High is blocking this. This person cannot come towards you right now. They have a lot of work to do. And I'm afraid that if they come towards you in this fake-ass energy, in this unhealed-ass energy, this unevolved, unawakened energy, they're going to tarnish and taint everything that it is that you have built. And who wants to return back to zero? Who wants to return back to ground one, all behind a person who, who couldn't get it together? Okay? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here's some more. No excuse to hit a woman. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, understandably, I get it, you know? I'm not even gonna, because women do need to keep their hands to themselves. Like, you don't go around hitting a man and just expect not to get your ass knocked out. But at the same time, it, like... <sighs> Well, you heard the fucking card. You've seen the card. It still ain't no excuse to hit no woman. But at the same time, she needs to keep her hands to herself, too. But it goes both ways. But this is, you know, I'm just saying what the card I'm saying, you know? All right, so we have <clears throat> play if you want to. Yeah, so your spirit guides, ancestors, and um, angels, and whatever, like, they just, like, tell, they in this person's energy, like, look, play if you want to. Go towards the divine feminine, unhealed, unevolved, unawakened, and with all this karmic bullshit if you want to, and watch what happens to you. Which is leaving them in a deep sadness. They know that they're going to eventually have to watch. Well, they, they are watching you walk away. They're watching you prosper. They're watching you do good without them. They're watching you become a totally new woman. A totally like new person and that's causing them a deep sadness but it's also causing them a deep seated envy and jealousy that they are feeling towards you as well so take that where it resonates <clears throat> they know if you find out this truth it will be over for good wow so this could be some confirmation here you guys i did say that i was picking up on an energy where this this masculine energy could be could have contracted an STD and is afraid to let you know, okay? Or whatever this STD is, whether it's uncurable or curable, they have a deep sadness about it. They could also have to just be having a deep sadness behind how they feel or just behind the fact they lost you as well as everything else going on in their life yeah but you declared and decreed that you will not settle for no more drama in your life period you don't you're not standing for that anymore you're standing in your power you're standing in your truth and you're just telling this person all right if that's what you want to settle for then okay then more power to you yeah don't drop a sweat Spirit wants you to, to know, don't drop a sweat over this person because they surely ain't dropping one over you. If anything, I'm hearing they just want to keep you from finding out the truth. But unfortunately, because you are the high priestess, you embody every queen of the deck. You already know what's up intuitively. <clears throat> and for that reason, they can't hold you back even if they tried. And they do try, constantly playing in your energy. And yeah, they shit might work for, what, a day or two until spirit come in and whip that ass. They don't know that y'all really real life protected. Sometimes spirit allows them to play in your energy as a test to test you. And once you overcome that test and defeat that test, then again, that's when spirit come in and start taxing that motherfucker's ass. All right, we have you need a break. So a lot of you, I'm definitely picking up on a workaholic energy. You could be working a lot. Spirit is just reminding you that you need a break. All right, this is confirmation. Middle of the deck, we have it's time to get out and have some fun. Release stress. So a lot of you divine feminines are being guided at this point to just get out and have some fun. Release some stress. I'm here and perhaps like go out for like sip and paint, um, karaoke night, 
go out like dancing it doesn't always have to be like a club or anything like that shit you could go to like a small little shit a lounge or something like that nothing too much um and you know just go and have some fun release some stress all right go out and try you know not try but go out and meet new people you know speak to people um make eye contact with those of whom you you feel intuitively are you know good high vibrational individuals as well yeah this is confirmation work 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 that's all a lot of you have been focused on is just work 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 spirit is saying listen you need a break okay you need a break it is time to get out and have some fun release some stress okay you know you are in this period and in the, and in this season of starting over starting from from scratch okay it's okay to take a break from everything that you're doing divine feminine from all your creative endeavors and to take a break unwind and get out and relax okay have some fun let your hair down so we have love them and leave them yeah so your person will show pretend to love them but he'll show leave them though you know this could have a lot to do with just you know sex on all types of energies and then leave them but spirit is saying they gotta pay up they gotta pay up all right <clears throat> all right any other messages we have she needs you so take this where it resonates this can be a feminine energy in your org field divine feminine who needs you or this could be subconsciously what your higher self is telling your divine masculine is speaking to them and placing on their heart the fact that you may need them or something all right so it says i'm not evil but bitch try me yeah i'm not evil but bitch try me <laughs> so we have propose so this person may now or in the near future want to propose to you. Wow. And right after propose, we have getting married soon. Someone here in this org field, in this energetic field is going to be getting married soon. Okay. So take that where it resonates. That is definitely what I am picking up on. So congratulations. If you all are going to be newly um, getting married, you know, newlyweds, things of that nature. Okay. So we have, they cannot mess with your anointing. Yeah, they cannot mess with your anointing no matter how much they try, no matter how hard they try. Okay. We also have they want your spiritual gifts. So yeah, these motherfuckers want your spiritual gifts. Okay. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me what the hell is wrong with these cards? Okay. One second, guys. work it out with your family so a lot of you could be guided to work it out with your family um so take that word resonate so you know where that fits okay any other messages here before i sum this all up and move on move along <laughs> oh my phone's dying crap all right any other messages spirit Okay, take those. I'm gonna say, yeah, they want your spiritual gifts. I believe I said that already. All right, yeah, selling out. So I'm hearing someone is selling out for the clout. So take that where it resonates. I was so wrong about you. You're just like the rest. So this can be your energy towards your masculine energy. You could be feeling as though they are just like the rest. You could be feeling as though you made a mistake for um, viewing them in such a high regard. Perhaps you made a mistake for falling in love for them. Well, with them as much, as hard as you did. All right. Someone here wants to be you so fucking bad. This could be this karmic femme who can't keep her hands off of your person. So take the word resonates. All right, it's a little different when it was, wait, excuse me. It's a little different than it was when I was with you. 
So this person would like you to know that it was a, it, whatever they're in right now is way different than when it was, what it was when they were with you. All right, so it says, make it work for your kids if you can. So yeah, we had to work it out with your family and make it work with your kids. So perhaps, I'm definitely picking up on some of you who are separated. You could have been married and you're currently separated. But here's your confirmation. Spirit is saying, listen, work it out with your family if, you're, if you can, okay? Make it work if you're able to. All right, we have deep in me. So a lot of you could be craving and seeking this person to be deep inside of you. All right, we have your brother. So your brother can be significant here. Wanting to keep you stuck in illusions. So maybe a brother or their brother could be wanting to keep you or this person stuck in some sort of illusion about this connection. Though the two of you feel this fire and desire for one another, though the both of you hide it, okay, you act as if you don't care about the other, you act coldless, I mean, heartless and cold towards one another, okay, when really he, she needs you, so take it where it resonates, Divine Feminine. Well, my phone is dying, you guys, um, but that was the reading. If it resonated at all, please don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you aren't already. And until next time, Divine Timing, we are rising, and I am checking out. Peace and love.